I'm ashmeo12.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to implement the jQuery UI dialog box into your website. Um, it's the same dialog box like here. I've used here so it's similar to this. Um, okay so first of all you want to, well, you need to actually get hold of jQuery UI so if you don't know um, how to do that then you can watch the video of how to acquire jQuery UI. Um, you should find that on the channel somewhere. Um, then you want to go to um, jQuery UI. So basically, jQuery UI forward slash dialog is um, jQuery UI dot com forward slash dialog is the dialog page. Um, alternatively, you can just go to the demos. So basically, jQuery UI dot com, um, and then down the side you'll see dialog there, and then that will just open that page up. Um, right, so first of all, basically this just gives you the basics of how to get it open. So if you click view source, this is what you need. So this is just a quick div here. I'm just going to copy this and paste it into the page. Um, so let's just space it out a bit. So that's just a quick div um, I've copied in which it looks a bit like this it's just basically a div with some text in there just like that um, and what we need then is this script here in the head so copy and paste that into the head and basically this just enables um, you don't have to use it like basically the div ID here is the ID here so basically you put the ID and then dot dialog that will convert any element, technically, um, mostly a div probably you'll use, um, into a dialog box. So if I just save this and preview it, um, we get it just like that. It basically just converts it into a dialog box. And now this is just basic. This opens at the start, and you click close it, and you know that happens again, and you have to refresh it. Um, so you need a click button, probably. You'd use a click button. Um, to do that um, so where are we going so if you click examples here you've got your basic animation one which opens and um, just like that and it gives you um, you know it's animation and this is basically the code here for it so obviously um, auto open is set to false um, you know when when it's shown we're using the effect blind um, and it's going to take a one second basically to you know fully appear um, and when you click high so when you click the close button and um, the effect is explode and that's obviously going to take one second as well and um, so basically it's it's all laid out for you um, also um, you can use all these effects down the side here so so where you've got um, show and you've got blind so basically if I just um, just quickly put this button into here Okay, and then um, just implement this auto open is false. Okay, um, actually, what I'll just do is just copy all this. Actually, um, was it all that? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so that basically we should get something that looks like the, uh, the that website. What I've just shown you there. We get a button. Oops, and we don't get it shown. One second. Um, but obviously we'll need this um, event listener as well. Um, that basically just says when this button is pressed, when open up has been clicked, um, we're going to find the dialog ID, the element with the ID of dialog, and we're going to call the dialog function and we're going to then open it. So let me just see if this uh, works. No. Uh, I see what I did when um, when I've recopied everything. Um, I this top function here was actually I deleted it by accident. So I just recopied everything from um, the website here. Um, right. So now for refresh, there we go. Click open. That happens like that, and you close it, and it explodes. Right. So what we're going to do now is when it opens, we're going to change this animation. So what you can do is instead of using this effect blind here, 
um, if you go to the effects on the side and then go to show for example you get a ego blind and that's basically that so here is some of the stuff so um, I think what I used on Able 12 or the new one I think um, was it scale yeah scale so all you have to do is change this blind here to scale or whatever you want and that will then open it up like that and the same with close um, if you go to the close effects will hide effects on the side you'll get basically the same options um, but it will reverse into the other way if you know what I mean so there is lots of effects basically jQuery is you can sort of use everything with ev everything if you know what I mean like nothing is just dedicated to one thing so here so you and you've not just got these options so auto open obviously says what it, says what it is so if, if you set this to true then um, basically as soon as you load the page it will already be open if you know what I mean um, so that's basically auto open um, and there's a lot of stuff the duration like I said how long it takes to be fully from starting the animation to fully um, you know there um, let's see what else we've got See. Also, if you go to the dialogue, wherever it's gone again, there we go. Um, and if you click on want to learn more about this dialogue widget, check out the API documentation. If you open that up, you'll get a basically this is the, the documentation about the dialogue box, and there is a ton of options in here. So, like I said, um, and one thing just before I show you this actually, um, the basically when you put a title in the div, just, just there. Uh, basically it's what appears here so where you've got basic dialogue in this blue bar at the top if I change that to say you know because it's a basic dialogue so if I change um, this is a title then obviously that changes that there this is a title so that's the title of what it's going to be in there um, and that's also in the documentation here title Obviously, you can change it within that as well, or you can, you know, put it into the div. So base, so this documentation basically just tells you everything you need to know and gives you the code as well. So it's it's pretty good, um, and you know, there's, there's all sorts you can do like the height, the width, um, you know, the methods. So um, let's see, open. Obviously, it opens it. Um, option name so you can disable stuff basically there is a ton of options you can actually use with this so so here you go events um, on focus so when the trigger when the dialogue gains focus so when the the user actually opens the box or when it's opened you can focus onto you know something put a function in the focus it's all there for you and it's really simple to use um, so I hope this helps with the dialog box most of other jQuery UI um, e um, what do you call it elements I suppose um, widgets uh, here you go widgets interactions basically all this is sort of pretty much the same so let's say if you go to like say a progress bar for example it gives you the you know the uh, default functionality the source and then you know your API documentation if you wanted to view that for the progress widget um, so basically jQuery UI is very easy to use in terms of um, like managing the code if you know what I mean like like they give you all the code basically you need to know so it's all there it's really simple to use jQuery UI um, so this is basically just for the dialogue widget um, if you want any more widgets explaining or how to use, um, leave a comment or send me an email message or whatever. Um, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.